Hello my dear foodies, I'm Shana and you're watching Recipes Are Simple. Today we're making a delicious Thai salmon curry. Creamy, rich and delicious paired with some white steamed rice. It's absolutely wonderful. Let's get started with the recipe, shall we? So this recipe is for 300 grams of salmon. So first we start off by making a fresh spice paste of some fresh ingredients and spices. So we need four shallots. Three large cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of galangal. We also need three teaspoons of lemongrass, that's the tender inner portions after the outer layers have been removed and sliced thinly like this. You can also add two teaspoons of fresh coriander root, that's just the root portion of a cilantro chopped into pieces and add it along with these ingredients that we're going to grind to a paste. But today I'm only going to use the leaves of the cilantro and that I'm going to add later into the curry. Next we're using two and a half to three long and mild green chili peppers. These are often known as green goat uh, green chili peppers and they're often used in Malaysian and Thai cooking. That's all the fresh ingredients. We also need to toast some spices. One tablespoon of coriander seeds a large pinch of cumin seeds and a large pinch of nutmeg. So I'm using the fresh spice nutmeg. I just cut off a piece from this spice here and added it to this dry pan. We're going to dry toast these spices till they're aromatic. You don't want them to turn dark. And you're going to add this to all of the fresh ingredients. Now we don't need to add any water because you have enough moisture from the green chilies and the shallots. We're going to grind this as smoothly as possible. You'll get a paste like this with some texture because the galangal is quite um, fibrous. So this is our paste. We'll set that aside. A small bowl here with one teaspoon worth of tamarind pulp. To this we're going to add two generous tablespoons of boiling water. We're just going to mash that and let it soak. Set that aside as well. Now here I have a non-stick pan. This is what we're going to be making our curry in. Use a deep edged wide pan like this um, and set it over a medium flame. Now for this recipe we need one cup of thick coconut cream. I'm using store bought coconut cream here. No need to use freshly pressed coconut milk. Since the coconut cream is so thick we're going to dilute it with some water. So here I have a quarter to a third of a cup of water. To this we're going to add a quarter cup of the coconut cream that we just saw. So that's a half a cup of liquid here. Essentially you have half a cup of dilute coconut milk here in the pan. And as it heats up we're going to add all of the paste that we just made. Add the green paste and stir it till it just starts to boil. Next you want to reduce the heat and simmer for a minute or two till the paste and the coconut milk mixture thickens. Once the paste is thickened like this, we can add our salmon cubes. We have 300 grams of salmon cut into cubes here. I removed the skin, um, that's optional. And now we're just going to cook this in the paste for about a minute till the salmon turns slightly opaque. Add one teaspoon of coconut palm sugar or if you don't have that just add light brown sugar as well as salt to taste, around one teaspoon of salt. This should be sufficient salt for the curry. Now that the salmon has just slightly changed color, we can add another half cup of the thick coconut cream, combined with three-fourths of a cup of water this time. Stir gently and bring to a light boil. As it comes to a boil, add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of chili powder. Stir gently once again to incorporate the powders. Cover and reduce the heat. Cook for four minutes.
After four minutes, uncover the pan. Stir gently. To this, we want to add a quarter to half a teaspoon of white pepper powder. I'm adding a quarter teaspoon first. You can see how the curry has thickened a little bit while simmering for four minutes. We're also going to add one teaspoon of Thai fish sauce. Fish sauce is rather pungent. It has a strong aroma as soon as you add it to the curry, but it soon disappears. Just stir it in, and we're also going to add the tamarind solution that we prepared earlier. Just strain the solution into the curry for that sour note. And if you didn't add the coriander root to your ground fresh ingredients, you can add the leaves of fresh coriander right now. So sometimes I add the coriander root and sometimes I add the fresh leaves. It depends on the mood. They both have different flavors. The root is more earthy in tone while the leaves add a fresh scent. Lastly, to the remaining thick coconut milk, add just enough water to make around half a cup of dilute coconut milk. I'm just going to give that a stir. And I had added only a quarter teaspoon of white pepper powder earlier, so I'm going to add another quarter teaspoon at this stage after tasting. We also want to add one cup of lime leaf. I removed the midsection and just chopped it up, as well as two red hot Thai chili peppers. These are quite hot, so I'm just going to add them in whole. I'm not going to chop them. Just for that kick um, and uh, that hint of that heat. And it's ready. How easy was that? Your creamy, rich Thai salmon curry is ready to be served with steamed white rice. Do let me know if you try the recipe. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.